Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Tinkercad iPad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to open Tinkercad. Friends, today we are going to create a new 3D design. We are going to make a fun little gingerbread person. I am going to name it Gingy. Click down on the screen, and we can start building. The first piece we're going to use is a cylinder. This is going to be the head. We're going to be designing for 3D printing, so I'm going to ask you to follow my directions pretty closely. So we're going to hold down the modifier button, and we're going to stretch this to Crazyville. Hold, stretch. Notice it does take a couple times as you get good at this. And then we're going to type in the box. So we're doing one of the side measurements, and we're going to do 25. Remember, you can pull down and hit OK and it snaps to 25 in every direction. We're going to change that height though because this is potentially 3D printed to 10. So there's a 1 and there's a 0 by dragging down. We do want to make our cylinder smooth so we're going to open up its properties and take the sides and slide it all the way to 64. And then because it's a gingerbread person I'm going to make it brown just because that kind of makes more sense. If we hit fit view this is going to be the head of our awesome gingerbread person. Now the next part is going to be the neck and arms, and we're going to build that with a chunk of scribble. Now friends, this box right here is one centimeter. I'm going to switch to this tool, and I'm going to come a little past that centimeter, and I'm going to draw an arc in to make a neck. Now I don't really like that one, so I'm going to do it again, but we're just making a neck type shape that fits in that one centimeter area. Now I'm going to draw an arm with that same tool that sweeps out, up, and then has a nice smooth end through here. So that is the arm. Notice it's about two centimeters. I'm going to do the other arm out this way. If you don't like what you did, like I don't like that one at all, you can switch to this tool and cut it off. I'll cut that back flat. And I'm going to switch tools again. Let's try this again. So I'm coming out here smooth, under, up, and around. Still don't like that a ton. This time, though, I'm just going to cut off the little hand chunk. And then I'm going to come back to my scribble and try and make that a little more nifty. Ooh, I like that one. Now I'm going to go just past his shoulder, or her shoulder, and I'm going to sweep out and make a little bit of a body shape. That, my friends, I'm going to call done. If we zoom to home, you can now drag those two pieces to where you want. Now, remember, if you use two fingers, you can drag. One finger rotates. If you pinch and spread out, you can zoom in. So we've got those two that look pretty sweet. Now we're going to add some awesome legs. Once again, I'm going to do it with a chunk of scribble. Remember my centimeter measurements. I'm going to select this tool again, and I want them to have round feet, or her. So I'm sweeping down and around, so there's a round foot. And then I'm coming down, and I'm making that a round foot. Then I'm coming back up to do the waist. If you don't like what you did, just clear it. I'm going to try this again, keeping my two centimeters or so. There's my rounded shape. Let's make that one a little rounded. Ooh, I think I like that. And of course, you can try, try again until you are totally happy. I'm going to hit done. Let's zoom out again with that home button. And then you can make it so that they fit each other. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to make it a little wider. I always use the black handle so it only does one direction at a time. Let's use that fit view so we can zoom in. Check out the measurement to make sure it's 10. They are both 10. When you are happy and you have them arranged, let me show you how you turn your gingerbread person into one piece so it looks pretty darn cool. All right, so I think that joins up pretty good. Now we are going to do tap, tap, select. Remember that trick? If you miss, it's tap, tap, select may take a couple times. Ooh, that time I got it going the other direction. Friends, when you hit group, 
your awesome little gingerbread person will be one piece. Notice it's smooth, flat, everything's connected, and that is absolutely awesome. So now we are going to cut in some cool decorations for our gingerbread person. Now we're going to do that in a very tricky way. Bring out a cube. And I want you to take that cube, and I want you to change its height. Instead of 20, we want to make it 8. And press Enter. What that did was it made it below the height of our gingerbread person. Now when we bring out a chunk of scribble, I'm going to make a fun squiggly. You can work on this to make it as cool as you want. And I'm going to make it a hole, and I'm going to change its height to 3. Remember, you have to backspace first and tell it OK. So now, if I zoom in on my gingerbread man, so I'm going to do a two-finger drag to move it. I'm going to go put this decoration down on the leg. I'm going to make a little skinnier. And I'm going to make it a little shorter. I don't want my gingerbread person to move, so I'm going to lock the gingerbread person. That way it's real easy to grab the piece we want, adjust, and make it look the way we want. I'm also going to do fit view to zoom in so we can see it a little better. Make sure I'm on that little part. There we go. Now my fit view comes in. I can adjust that so it looks just the way I want. And then I'm going to make more of them. So if I do duplicate, I'm going to do minus on a couple zooms. I'm going to hit duplicate. And I'm going to just pull that over to this side as well. Hide my toolbar for a second so I've got more room to see. I'm going to draw some little belly pieces up here. Now we made this three so that they are easier to grab. If they were sunk right into our gingerbread person right now, it'd be more difficult to see them. Right now they're pretty easy to grab. I'm going to put a little button in the belly. So there's that piece. Shrink it down to whatever size you want. You can type the numbers. Remember also I can do undo. I'm going to hide the parameters for a minute. I can do shift shrink so they shrink all at the same amount. Size 4 or 5 is a decent size. I click on that piece and do fit view. We can get it right in the center. A couple of zoom outs. But you can arrange your buttons however you want. Once again I'm going to do duplicate so I've got two buttons. I'm going to use these for the eyes as well. So I'm going to go back to duplicate. Drag that up to an eye spot. If we do fit view, it'll get us closer, although it's a little too close. But it's pretty easy to zoom out. Pan, move those wherever you want. Remember, we want two of them, so I'm going to put one on the other side. I'm going to cut in a fun smile with a piece of scribble. Let's bring out our tools. Notice this height is going to stay the same for all of these to sink in. I'm going to give him a mouth like he's saying, oh no. When I hit done, I'm going to make that a hole. And then we just need to shrink it. I'm going to use those black handles to make it the exact size I need. If we do home, you can see our little gingerbread person is starting to look fantastic. All right, friends, so I'm going to add some cute scribbles to the arms real quick. Remember, you just click, make your fun scribble, whatever you want. Turn it into a hole. Because we've got this set at 8 millimeters, it'll already cut in. We can rotate it to the place it needs to be. Grab the wrong one, but I can zoom in. Let's use that fit view again. Find those little black handles and make it so it fits the way we want. Then I'm going to zoom out and I want to put one on the other side too once again duplicate zoom in so we can see a little better so there's a couple of those pluses then I want to grab that and drag it to the other side remember if you can't see real well just change your perspective and add the cool things you want to add I want my gingy to have legs that have been repaired so I'm gonna zip down to this little piece right here Let's do plus, plus, plus. Remember, you can pinch to zoom. I'm going to drag that down closer to the foot. And then watch these fun pieces. 
I'm going to bring out a chunk of scribble. And let's do little slashes across his leg like he's been repaired. When we hit done, make it a hole and squeeze it in right where you think it should be. You can be so creative as you come up with your own cool version of Gingy. I'm going to duplicate and put that on the other side. Notice I left this one crazy tall. That really works fine as well. I'm also going to rotate those a few degrees. We do need to remember that Gingy was unlocked. I'm going to lock him again real quick. And that way we can adjust without having to worry about moving our cute little gingerbread man. There's my angle. I'm going to delete this for the final time because I'm going to call this the end of my amazing gingerbread man. Work plane on the ground. And unlock. Let's zoom to home. And do that. Tap, tap, select. Oh my gosh, I'm getting good at that. And boom. And friends, there is our adorable little Gingy. How fun is that? Friends, remember when you're done with your awesome gingerbread person, you can go back to the Tinkercad screen and it will save. And then you can share it with the whole world by simply clicking up here, clicking the gear, changing the properties, give it a super fun name, give it a description, some tags, make it public. And then I always recommend do attribution, no derivatives. That way, other people can learn from doing the tutorial as well when you're done you can click the x and then if you check out the gallery which is another fun thing to do you can see here actually was the gingerbread tutorial as a staff favorite that's awesome don't forget you can give it a reaction which is super cool to do and then also in the gallery if you switch to recent there is a chance your new design will be one of the first ones there and then, of course, you can check out other people's amazing projects and then give them reactions for how awesome their work is. When you're done, you just need to click Gallery to go back and check out somebody else's. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with the tutorial, gained a lot of skills, and of course, I want to remind you I have a website, hlmodtech.com. If you ever have a question, comment, or suggestion, I've got a built-in message until you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion almost instantly. I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.